Okay, let's get started. I have done now, I think, right around 30 videos or so. There's only 34 strengths to cover. And I did combine three strengths, which were uh, input, learner, and in election together into one video. So I've only got, after today, I've only got two more videos to do and I will have covered all the strengths. So we're right around 30 videos. Uh, so at this point, I have to tell you right now that tonight's video I have been looking forward to since before I started with the first video. And the reason for that is, is because today's video is on the sacred strength of significance. Now you may say, Ron, why is this such a big deal? What is so important about significance? What does it mean to you? Well, I'm so glad you asked because I'm going to answer that question right now. Uh, well, actually not right now. We're, we're going to ease into that a little bit. And I'm going to give you little bits and pieces of it, but let's follow our usual format here. Let's first of all, first of all, talk about the domain that, that we're in here. Um, so signif the significant strength is an influencing strength. That's important. And uh, it's just funny I say that because I'm giving it significance, right? Um, for me personally, significance is my number three strength. This is way up there for me. And it's also my highest influencing strength by far. My next influencing strength is like number 16, I think, which is competition, if I remember correctly. And I don't even remember because I don't really use that one that often. But I know significance. I tap into this strength every single day. Now, for my wife, Kim, this is her number 34. So again, 34 strengths total, right? This is her absolute bottom of bottom. This is this is her shadow, uh, you know, her, her the, the number 34, it doesn't go any lower in your divine natural abilities than that. So Kim really leans on me for this one. She really leans on me and says, and, and literally every day, Kim will say to me, Ron, I need you to bring your significance in on this. I need you to apply your significance. That's her wonderful strategic mind in, in recognizing that, uh, the, the power of, of these strengths that not, aren't necessarily one she can tap into on her own. So let, let, let's talk a little bit more about this. Number three for me, and yet my next influencing strength doesn't show up until I'm pretty sure it's number 16. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that one's competition. Um, so what does this say? First of all, this is kind of a lone wolf. I, I like to think of it in, in those terms. If you have a strength uh, in your top five and you don't have another one within that same domain for like at least 10 places down below that one, like, like that is for me, then this strength here is, is kind of like a lone wolf. There's no other domain buddies to hang out with it at the level that it is on. It is out there all by itself. And the fact that, that you may have this in your top five, especially, this is especially true if it's in your top five, then this strength is going to be one that you lean into quite a bit. This is going to be a very important strength for you. And, and think about that. It kind of makes sense. If, if I am not a heavy influencer, which I am not, that is not a primary domain for me, Yet I've got this one influencing strength that I connect with really well that brings me joy. It's in my top five. That is a very powerful thing to go kind of against the grain of, uh, you know, of my domain structure here, and and to to have that strength rise to you know kind of rise to the. Uh, uh, rise with the cream, you know, so to speak, rises to the top. This is a very important strength for me. Now, something else that makes this a very important strength for me, and a little bit of a source of frustration, if I must be very honest, is that I have never coached anybody else that's had this strength in their top 10. I keep waiting. I'm hoping someday I'm going to run across another person and I'm going to cheer when it happens. When, when, when I find somebody else that I get to coach who has significance high in your top 10, um, 
I am going to be ecstatic. I am going to jump up and down because I'm looking for that. I love this strength so much. I really connect with it. And uh, I look forward to, to coaching someone with this particular strength. And frankly, I look forward to learning from them. So it, even if I have not coached you, if you're watching this video and you have significance high in, in your top 10 or better yet in your top five, I would love to hear from you. I want to hear how you use this strength. What is significant to you? How, how do you, you manifest this and put this to work? And how does it bring you joy? That's what I want to know from you. So I'm giving you the opportunity to teach me here. Uh, if you have significance high, I want to learn uh, what you do with that. So that that's an open invitation. Uh, reply to this video. If you're seeing this uh, video on social media, you can, you can message me, whatever, you, you, you figure it out, but get word to me and I will definitely want to talk to you if you have significance really high. I, I want to learn from you. All right. So um, I, I was reading, you know, when, when I do these videos, some of them I, I know very well. Uh, so, some of these strengths I know extremely well. Some of them I like to look at some other um, other coaches, what they've said about it, what they've learned about it. I go to Gallup themselves and hear what they say about it. And, and I kind of, you know, we'll put this together. And so I know this strength very well. I don't necessarily need to research this one to teach this strength. But I wanted to go back and kind of look at what Gallup said just to see if it jives with what I think of. And I, I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't think that Gallup has done a very good job with significance. I, I, I think they've done it a little bit of a disservice here. Um, and I'm, I, you know what? I may just read you a, a piece from that real quick on what they said. And I want to give you my spin on it then uh, as to how I think, uh, how I use significance and what makes significance so cool to me. All right. So here's what uh, Gallup says. You want to be very significant in the eyes of other people. In the truest sense of the word, you want to be recognized. You want to be heard. You want to stand out. You want to be known. In particular, you want to be known and appreciated for the unique strengths you bring. And it, and it kind of goes on from there. It, it's But you get the concept of it. Um, you want to be valued. And yes, that's true. I'm not saying none of that is true because I want all those things. I, I want you to watch my videos and to say, uh, wow, that that was very that that was very helpful to me. That was very meaningful to me. That fills my bucket to get that kind of feedback. So, but I, I think there's something missing here in in what I think of the significance. I, I think people with significance high, and this is you know I'm, I'm talking personally here too. My, me obviously, by having significance high, what I am able to do with this strength is I'm able to take things that are ordinary, uh, daily occurrences maybe, and I'm able to present them in a way that shows how incredibly important and valuable these things are, okay? So what I don't like about what Gallup says, is you notice there was nothing, everything was about me needing to feel validated. It showed nothing about moving others forward. And this is an influencing strength. So how do I use this strength to help others move forward? And that is really where the, the, the sacredness of this strength is. I am able to help people move forward using this strength by giving a perspective that little steps, little things, little changes are very valuable and that by doing that and doing that consistently and, and recognizing those things, it's, it's kind of like being able to see and appreciate the things that other people miss. But I'm able to present things in a way that people will say, oh yeah, wow, that is cool. I didn't think of it that way or I didn't see it that way. I'm able to give a perspective of value. And I can do that as I'm helping them move forward by giving them a valued perspective of their accomplishments. I think a lot of times people don't give themselves enough credit or they don't give themselves the right credit. And frankly, they also don't hold themselves accountable in areas 
where, where they need to hold themselves accountable. So significant strength can do all these things. This is about helping people, helping others move forward. That's what the whole point of the influencing domain is. So I use this strength in that way. It's not about me. Yes, I, I love to be heard. I love to have the attention. I love to be kind of center stage and 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 all that. But but it's that is not the what's most important to me. What's most important to me is being able to give people a perspective of them moving forward in a valuable way that maybe they're not seeing that value. Okay, so that is for me, what the significance strength is. Now, the whole lone wolf thing, I may come up with better verbiage for that as far as what, what you know, I may come up with something, I'm going to call that something else. But for right now, I think of it as kind of a lone wolf. That's what I think of it as. We're kind of like a shining star. It's out there uh, in, the, in a dark sky and it's shining all by itself because there's no other, uh, I don't have any other influencing strengths anywhere near it. So it stands out. It stands out much brighter than, than a lot of my other strengths because my other strengths are kind of clustered. You know, they're, 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 they've got buddies with them. <laughs> this one does not. So, all right. So that's, that's, I think all those things kind of put together to make this a very sacred strength for me. How can this strength go sinister? Um, well, it's an influencing strength. And so a lot of these influencing strengths, they go sinister by putting our own values onto the other person that we're trying to help move forward. So if I use my scale of significance, I, I, I have to make sure that, yes, I can talk about what's significant to me, but the, the real power in this strength is helping people to see what is significant about what they are doing, what is significant about them. This strength goes sinister when we, any of the influencing strengths go sinister when we make it about ourselves. Okay, when if we're focusing on ourselves and what matters and our own bird's eye view of things and not asking those questions, what do you want? What are your goals? And and what how can I help you get there? If we're not focusing on them and their journey, then these influencing strengths will go very sinister very quickly. It can get to the point, it can almost be bullying. And that's a, I, I know that's not a fun word, but if it goes bad enough, that's what happens. If it goes sinister enough, I should say, that is actually what can happen. We always have to keep in mind what the other person's objectives are, what the other person's uh, values are, what the other person's goals are. When we're able to do that and then apply our significance to that and say, I see how you're doing that. Um, I, I see what you did today. I noticed this. I noticed this little thing that you did. And I want you to know how valuable that was, knowing the direction that you are moving into, knowing the direction that you are shooting for, the goal you have. When we're able to do that, that's how we avoid from getting sinister with this strength. Always focus on where the other person is trying to move to and supporting them in their journey. Don't subject your own journey onto them. Uh, thank you very much. That covers uh, <laughs> that covers uh, significance, I think, pretty well. Again, if you have this strength up high, I want to hear from you. Um, if you have any feedback for me, obviously you can tell I, I get fired up about this one. This this is this is one of my passions here. The significant strength. Thank you for so much for watching. I'm going to, uh, we're going to stop now and next up we will be doing the video on strategic, uh, the strategic strength. Thank you again. I look forward to seeing you soon. I look forward to hearing your comments. And until then, remember inspiration starts here.